everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Curious Gamer, and today I am not doing a tutorial. Today I'm going to be sh uh, showing you my uh, half scale ship map. And from here, you, you should be able to uh, see what you can expect for the next couple videos. Change this to day. Yes. Good. Now, before we get into the video, don't uh don't forget to subscribe. Um, hit the notification bell, like the video, all that stuff. Maybe leave a comment. I would appreciate a comment on what you guys think I should change my channel to because. Serious gamer seems to be way too common. I don't know why these, why the entire top of this is gone. But I'll just use this as reference because that should be the same. Anyway, also don't forget to join my Discord server. Um, it's a very fun place, very chill place uh, for you to hang out. But yeah, enough of my uh, jabber. Let let's uh, start the video. So this is, well, the first ship I'm going to be showing you, it's the, uh, Indiana class battleship. Now, because this one's extremely broken for some reason, I'm going to show you this one. Much better looking one. There. Much, much better looking. Uh, but yeah, this will be maybe a two-parter uh, tutorial. Uh, there should be stairs there. Here's one that's perfect. There, see, here's one that is perfect. Um, really good looking. I quite like. I quite like how it turned out. Yeah, you can use the same design for all three. Um, I think that's Massachusetts, and this one's Oregon. Moving on, this is USS Iowa BB-4. Um, I also quite like how this one turned out. The fourth battleship of the United States Navy. Um, yeah. There's that. Moving on. Is USS Utah BB I think thirty or thirty one. I don't know. It is a Florida class battleship. Um, she was present during the attack on Pearl Harbor, and that's kind of the reason why I did her because I am I have a goal to build um, every class of ship present at the bombings of Pearl Harbor. Yeah, quite nice. Tiny turrets. <laughs> Moving on. USS Wyoming. Wyoming class battleship. Uh, not exactly huge fan on how she turned out. The superstructure is supposed to be a bit further back. Uh, these all are supposed to go a little bit forward, but I really don't feel like rebuilding her. So this is how it's going to be. Uh, I think it looks good. I guess. Moving on is USS Texas. No clue why this is here. But yeah, USS Texas BB uh, 35. Currently the last uh, dreadnought and super dreadnought battleship left in the world. I think she's a really good looking ship. I don't know about you. But, uh, yeah. USS Texas. New York class battleship. Sorry about that. But, um, this is my, uh, m length and width marker for USS Oklahoma Nevada class battleship. I'll also be converting her to Nevada. I don't know why the... Yeah, I'll 
Nevada Class Battleship. Here's USS Arizona. As she was in 1941. Uh, uh, Pennsylvania Class Battleship. My favorite. Currently my favorite battleship. Um, uh, quite a nice looking ship. I, if I do say so myself. Uh, and then here is my uh, length and width marker for USS New Mexico BB-40. Uh, New Mexico class battleship. And then is as the width and length marker for USS Tennessee, Tennessee class battleship. And then here is USS West Virginia, Colorado class battleship. I'm not a huge fan of how she turned out. I do like uh, the superstructure. Yeah, it looks it looks really nice in my opinion. Hey, and that would be all of my American battleships that I have, um, quick fly around, and I'm going all the way to the front, <laughs> um, this is an over to where I originally started this with the f um all right now for aircraft carriers starting here this is USS Langley Langley class aircraft carrier uh in the second half scale aircraft carrier I ever built. She needs a heavy she really needs a uh, redo because she looks absolutely terrible. Yeah, USS Langley. And then moving on to USS Lexington and Saratoga. I will be doing Lexington in a tutorial. I might also redo her. I don't really like how she turned, how she looks compared to my other ships. But yeah, I'll um, be tutorialing her, and then her, uh, and then a conversion into Saratoga. Moving on is USS Ranger, Ranger class aircraft carrier, fourth aircraft carrier of the United States Navy. Uh, quite like how she looks out, how she turn, turned out. And then moving on, here is USS Yorktown. Yorktown class aircraft carrier with Enterprise over here. I'm going to be redoing her. I'm going to be redoing all most of my aircraft carriers because I really don't like how most of them look anymore. But, um, yeah. Here's my Yorktown and Enterprise. And I'm moving on. I have USS Enterprise CVN-65. Oh, her, I really like how she turned out. She's very, very detailed, very, very nice looking. She may or may not get a tutorial, depending on how I feel. She is huge, and I am on Pocket Edition. Yeah, I really, really liked how she turned out. And hopefully you guys can get a tutorial for her. Here's the island. The island's a bit small. I might rebuild the island soon. And then here is a work in progress USS Midway. Midway class aircraft carrier.
Yeah, I'm um, not really sure how she'll turn out, but hopefully she'll be looking good, nice, and uh, lovely. Moving on again. I think we're moving on to cruisers now. Um, moving on, you have USS St. Louis, I don't really know what class cruiser she is, but, um, moving on, I, I, I really like how she turned out too, anyway, moving on, you have USS Chester, Chester class, um, cruiser, USS Brooklyn, Brooklyn class cruiser. Um, I quite like how she turned out. I might have to uh, redo the back, but otherwise, I really like how she turned out. Why is this only one sided? This is my marker for USS Atlanta. Uh, no, USS Juno, Atlantic class cruiser. And then here is USS Cleveland, Cleveland class cruiser. I really like the design of the Cleveland class. I hope that I did this really well. Uh, it probably sucks. <laughs> Moving on. We have... USS Smith, Smith class destroyer. Um, I already have a tutorial out for her, and here's the USS Samson, Samson class destroyer, and USS USS Phelps, Porter class destroyer. And then this is a work in progress Farragut class destroyer. And I also have a Fletcher class destroyer, but she isn't on this map yet. And I also have the world's ugliest ship, USS Zumwalt. Okay, and then here is USS Erie. Uh, she's a torpedo boat. I don't. She's a gunboat, but I don't know what class she is. Here is my uh, USS Vireo. I think that's how it's pronounced. Lapwing class mine minesweeper. Very small. And then I have a custom tug, the club class. Tugboat. I got really bored and needed a tugboat for my fleet, so yeah, uh, in the comments, maybe a yes cloud or no cloud if, if you want a tutorial or not for her. And then I don't have a road over here yet, but here is CSS Virginia and USS Monitor. I really need to redo that. I need to redo Monitor, I think. The, uh, Virginia looks really good. Yeah, um, maybe leave a comment, if, uh, on what one, on what any of these that you want done. And this is gonna do it for my American line. Let me go all the way back to the spawn real quick. Yeah, that will do it for my American line. Moving on to my uh, British line. Alright, moving on to my British line. The giant HMS Dreadnought in the background. It's not mine, it belongs to a friend of mine. Uh, he, has, he has a copy of it on his world. But, um, 
Okay, moving on to my uh, British line, I have HMS Belfast Town Class Cruiser. Yeah, I th I, I think I like it. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I like it. And on my uh, my own HMS Dreadnought Dreadnought class battleship Dreadnought battleship. <laughs> um, I like how she looks. I don't know about you. I like how she looks. I also had an eight an HMS Hood, but she is going to get a rebuild soon. And then for ocean liners, I have RMS Carpathia. Um, I can't remember the name of the class. Susan, if you can put that down b uh, below in the comments, that'd be greatly appreciated. I forgot to double side this. Um, yeah, uh, RMS Carpathia involved. Uh, rescued the Titanic's survivors, and I, I quite like the way she looks, too. Yeah. Here is SS Californian. I believe she's the only ship of her class. I don't know. She's from the Leyland line. Lines. Yeah, I, I like her design. She was also part of the Titanic's story. Yeah, I like the way she looks. And then, over here, my RMS Titanic. Anyway, here's my RMS Titanic. Um... I think she came out really, really nice. Um, of course, there are some limitations uh, put on me because of her scale and the way I built her. I was unable to put in the uh, the pillars here because of the nuisance of having. Okay, this is not a full block here. This, these are two slabs over a block. I forgot to fill that in. Anyway, um, other than that, I think I did a really good job. Of course, there are way better Titanics on the internet that you can watch, but I'm gonna still tutorial this one because I think it looks great, and I want to share it all with uh, with you guys. Is the RMS Lusitania Mauritania class ocean liner? I think I think the back looks really good, but the front because I was going for like the teardrop shape that uh, they said she is. She looks like this. So I'm not too sure how the front looks and, and stuff, but personally, I, I think I did really good. Uh, that's up for you guys to debate, but from my personal opinion, I think it looks great. I put a couple of guns on the back because I was doing her uh, 19, I think 16, 1916 paint. I put I put some guns on the back, even though most of these wouldn't be wouldn't be seen. Yeah, that is my RMS Lusitania, and it also does it for British ships. 
I know, I have very few. I have a lot coming, though. Um, so you stay tuned for that. You, uh, you'll be able to see a lot of them in the next, tutorial, uh, the next world updates. Yeah, moving on to my German. Alright, moving on to my German ships. I currently only have three. Bismarck, uh, Graf Zeppelin, and Prince Eugen. Prince Eugen currently isn't on this map because I forgot to transfer her over from the last building world, but she would be right here. Here is my KMS Graf Zeppelin, first half scale aircraft carrier I did. Um, of course, obviously, she really, really needs redone. Hell, I was still using stairs and slabs on this thing. Um, yeah, I mean, I think she looks kind of good, like, good enough to pass off for a tutorial. But, um, yeah, moving on to my Bismarck. Both of these look absolutely rubbish, but, um, here's my Bismarck. First battleship I did. I think her hull looks meh, pretty decent, I guess. Um, uh, back when I wasn't using walls for rudders. Moving over, you have her uh, main guns and secondaries. I didn't really put much effort into this. But, uh, yeah. You can uh, see these. She looks decent, I think. She looks decent. Definitely gotta redo her superstructure. 100%. Yeah, um... good, I guess. Her, uh, I completely forgot to do her cranes, lifeboats, a uh, bunch of AA. Uh, can really didn't detail her at all. Um, yeah, enough of me ranting. I'm gonna show you my Japanese line, which only has three, again. <laughs> oh, I might have more German ships coming. Just like, uh, the, um, British line. There won't really be many German ships coming, though, because I only have, I think, the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna redo Graf Zeppelin and Bismarck and Prince Eugen, which you guys don't want to see, trust me. And then, I'm going... To first of all, let me plug my phone in. <laughs> I'm so unprofessional with these, I know. There. Um. But yeah, I'm gonna be having Konigsberg class cruiser and a and Z. Uh, and a 1936 class destroyer. Alright, moving on to my Japanese line. I have two aircraft carriers and a giant, um, tanker. Here is, start off here is IJN Akagi. Uh, originally an Amagi class battlecruiser. 
uh, but after the Washington Naval Treaty came around, she was converted into an Akagi class aircraft carrier. And as far as I'm aware, she's Japan's first aircraft carrier. I might be wrong. Yeah, definitely a lot of detail put into this. Um, I don't think I did very well. Uh, you guys can, again, argue amongst yourselves in the comments about it. I probably won't be looking at the comments. Yeah, there's that. And this is IJN Kaga. Originally supposed to be a Tosa class battleship but was later converted into a aircraft carrier after Amagi's hull was severely damaged during the Kanto earthquake. Yeah. And I think I think I did a lot better on Kaga. You can disagree if you want, but I, th I think I did really well on Kaga, except for the back... That uh, stern looks weird. This is a work in progress, IJN Taiho. Probably gonna look rubbish. I hope not. But moving on to the largest uh, half scale ship I've built thus far is the. U-C-C-L-S, I think it is. Um, Nock Nevis, or you can call it Jer Viking, or Seawise Giant, however you know it. I don't really care, and I don't really think it matters. But yeah, uh, she's a giant, giant, um, oiler. Oil tanker, I'm just gonna call her an oiler. But, um. Yeah, she took me like three days. <laughs> um. I think it turned out amazing. A giant propeller. But, um. Yeah, I'm only going to tutorial her if you guys really, 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 really want it. You can you can show me that by uh, hitting the uh, like button. Maybe commenting that you really want it. I don't know. Please don't let me do this. Um, yeah. I think she turned out excellent. But that, right there, is going to do it for this video, my first uh, review video of, what, of all the half scale ships I've done. Now again, don't, uh, don't hesitate to click that uh, subscribe button. Uh, make sure to hit the like button too. Also, again, like I said, join my Discord server, it'll help out. Um, you can, um, maybe suggest something in the comments, but I would prefer you do it on the Discord server, because it's a lot easier to take requests from there. But, um, yeah, all those things helps out a lot, um, gives me the motivation and confidence to do things. Um, I don't really have much confidence at all, so that would definitely help. But yeah, that's a lot of ships to cover, and that you guys can hopefully see tutorials for in the future. But without further ado, I'm going to end this video off. Um, this is Furious Gamer, and I am out.